Come over here. It must be time. Come follow me. Good evening, everybody. Glad you can make it here tonight. My name is Samas Boko, and I'm a sophomore at Pomona College. Last semester, I conducted a 10-week sociological study on a local black barbershop. This study was qualitative in nature, meaning that I spent time as an observer watching what goes on in the shop, how do people interact, and what do they talk about. In addition, I got the chance to interview several of the barbers as well as some of their clients. Now, there are surprisingly few studies of this type done on black barbershops. There is one really great one, however, by Brian Keith Alexander, a researcher whom I drew on extensively in my paper, and I will draw on now for his unique perspective as a queer black male with dreadlocks. The black barbershop is a staple of the black community. Any person who has been to a black barbershop knows this intuitively. There is an enigmatic feeling that seizes one upon the moment of entrance, a feeling that is only intensified the more one engages with the space. My research helped to demonstrate the significance of hair care for black men, as well as the multifaceted roles that black barbers take on in their communities. Here are a few words from the owner of the barbershop I studied. Right. Right. Um, so would you say that you guys are kind of the, what, how do you see your barbershop compared to other barbershops in the area? Oh, well, hands down, I really, I really feel, and I felt from day one, um, when I had the vision of this barbershop, that it's, it's not going to be too many barbershops that touch us. Um, like I say, uh, I keep going back to attitude and, 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 and just the feeling you have when you walk in here. It's just, you know, you, you feel comfortable. You feel you feel the love, you know, and, that, and that's something that uh, most barbershops don't know how to focus on. They don't know how to focus on the client instead of each other. You know, they, they, they more or less focus on each other and, and, and the little, little things they, they need to do to make a couple extra dollars, like sell DVDs or sell you know, whatever they need to sell. You know what I'm saying? And it takes away from the barbershop. And that's something that I really focus on in here is, is it being a barbershop. You know what I'm saying? The black barber holds near sacred significance for many individuals and communities. Alexander writes in reference to receiving a haircut. I must admit, though, and I'm sure that other men may not want to admit it, it is one of those forbidden sensual experiences. This intimacy is what grounds the barber's relationship to their clients. I found that these barbers hold two main roles. For youth, they act as role models and agents of socialization. One barber who had a history of gang membership and incarceration said, I try to let my past be known, especially for the kids who come in here. I tell them stories not to scare them, but so they can learn from what I went through. For adult patrons, however, they act more as an informal therapist. Hegemonic society typically does not allow black men to express emotion and be vulnerable. The barbershop becomes a sanctuary away from society's prescribed norms, allowing black men to express themselves as well as renegotiate their own forms of black masculinity. Here, the owner of the barbershop will speak on the magnitude that he feels carrying this role. Oh, that's, that's, that's a, in the barbershop, we talk about everything. We try to stay away from religion and politics as much as possible, because those are sort of, sort of subjects to a lot of people. But outside of that, man, oh my God, we talk about everything with somebody walking on the moon to, you know, an ant crawling on a piece of french fry, you know, I mean, we... I mean, we, every, the conversation we hear is so broad. We we'll talk about everything. Some topics go left field. We'll talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and even how we feel about it personally. You know how to how to get into it. And, 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 and believe it or not, some people might look at that as uh, as a problem. But I actually had positive results with that because 
it's a small, it's a small part of therapy. You know, guys go through different things on a different daily basis, whether you're black, white, Chinese, whatever color you are. You know, you go through different things. You know, at different times, and coming to here to get it off your chest a bit. You know, could save lives. I believe. You know, or save, save, save the guy from going on kicking his dog. You know, whatever the case is, that could be, you know, that could be negative in his household. You know, just coming here venting. You know, speaking on a topic that either that was bothering him, or, or uh, maybe that was they could help someone else. Turn out to be real positive. It's, you know, it's been real positive. It's been a real success in here. Now, while my research didn't include black hair salons, Alexander's did. He studied a business as a customer that was a barber shop on one side and a salon on the other. He writes that, as a black gay man, I am standing betwixt and between a site designated for men and one designated for women. The barbershop and hair salons are integral and in specific cultural sites within the black community. Although the word salon refers to a site of hair care and comfort, it can also be defined as a constructed community for social and intellectual talk on agreed issues. Now, before I wanted to go, I want to stress that black barbershops and hair salons are discursive spaces. As participants, we create meaning and help to redefine the culture every time we enter and interact with the space. Alexander writes that, I do not romanticize the barbershop as some idealized cultural space because I know that culture, like all performances, are essentially contestatory. The communities that form around black hair care are determined by us. Thank you for allowing me to share my work with you. The beauty of the culture, community, and love surrounding black hair care is a unique experience that we should all take pride in.